Okay, year 11, it's uh, 7.30 in the morning. Putting this together quickly for you before the lesson today. You can see I've called in Yoda, got rid of Darth. It's getting pretty serious for this one today. 6F, a lot of you had a few problems with this. So let's slow down, get this right today, and then we'll move on to the other lessons tomorrow. So you don't have to go into the stuff for 6G today. All right, let's have a look at a couple of examples here. If sine theta equals root 3 on 2, it says find sec theta if theta is obtuse. So obtuse means greater than 90, less than 180, okay? So sine theta equals root 3 on 2, you need to have the command of your exact value triangles to be able to do this. So you've got to be able to draw those really quickly and be knowledgeable of them. Okay, so root 3 on 2 is this triangle, so 60 root 3, 2, so sine theta, so the acute value, the one in your all stations to central, the one that's in there, the acute value is 60, okay? Now, it says, find sec theta if theta is obtuse, so theta obtuse means it's over here, so it's in this triangle, in this quadrant, sorry, and that's okay because sine theta is plus root 3 on 2 and the sine's positive, okay? So acute theta is 60, so we've got to come back from there. So you always go from that line there. Let me just grab a pen. Always go from that line there. So back 60 up to there. Now it says find sec theta. Sec is 1 on cos, which is hypotenuse over adjacent. So if your exact value triangle looks like that, hypotenuse over adjacent all right, is 1. So that's 2 on 1. So sec theta is 2 on 1, but... Sec is the opposite of cos, or the reciprocal of cos, and we're in the second quadrant, so it's got to be negative. So sec theta is minus 2. Okay, you might want to watch that bit again. Now, two more examples. Let's go through them quickly. Uh, this is 7C, and this is 10D out of that set, so you should be comfortable with those. Find cos theta, if sin, sorry, find cos alpha if sine alpha is a quarter. It's not uh, uh, a nice Pythagorean triad now. So, the first, and it says, and tan alpha is less than zero. Okay, so let's draw the exact, the exact value triangle here, but it's not going to be nice numbers. You've got a 1 and a 4 opposite hypotenuse, so that's root 15 for Pythagoras. Now it says, tan alpha is negative. Co uh, sine alpha is a quarter. So sine alpha is a quarter, could be there or there. Tan alpha negative, can't be there, so it's got to be there. So we're in that second quadrant. Now it says find cos alpha, so let's draw that in there. So cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's root 15 on 4, but it's negative because we're in the negative quadrant. Okay, last example. I like this one. Sorry, Hulk. Find cos theta if cosec theta is minus 13 on 5 and cot theta is less than 0. Okay, cosec, opposite of sine, and it's negative, so you've got to be in quadrants 3 or 4. Cot theta negative, you've got to be in quadrants 2 or 4. Now, it says find cos theta, 3 and 4, 2 and 4, so we're in quadrant 4, which means when we get our answer down here, it's going to be positive. Now, 13 on 5 for the cosec, so here is your uh, a little acute exact value triangle. So 5, 13 is sine, so 13 on 5 is your cos, and it's negative. With in Sorry, sine, it's negative, we're down here. 5, 12, 13 if you do your Pythagoras. So cos theta adjacent over hypotenuse is plus 12 on 13. Now, I hope that clears up a few things. Uh, I'll do a few more examples for you soon.